Handling a vitamin B12 deficiency? No sweat. I had what you call anhydrosis, which is where you don't sweat. You fuck, can you hurry up? I'm dying in here. And that was definitely one of the strangest symptoms because it just happened out of the blue and that's not something you would typically think that would happen. But again, nerves affect everything. So, and vitamin B12 deficiency affects the nerves, which then of course affects everything. So I would be sitting in the car in Dallas in the summertime, in the sun, windows up, AC off, and I wouldn't sweat at all. Like not even, not even a little bit, not even armpit sweat, nothing. And let me tell you, I am a sweater. Like I play sports. We get into it and I sweat. Like, I'll sweat my entire shirt, shorts, everything. If I'm out there in that Caribbean heat, like, it's over. So, not sweating at all is a big deal, is a big concern. It might seem like a blessing. It might be like, whoa, he doesn't sweat at all. That's awesome. But it made me, it made me have thoughts like, would I be able to go to the Caribbean again? Do I just have to be in cold climates now for the rest of my life? Um, do I get to play sports again? You know, all these things were coming into my mind and those are hard to handle. Those are definitely hard thoughts to, to think about because those are things I love. I love. I love warm weather, I love the sun, I love playing sports. I do not like the cold. The cold is painful, the cold is painful. And on top of all of that, sweating is really healthy. It cleanses toxins through your pores and that boosts your immune system. And then it cools down your body's temperature in, in circumstances where you really need it. You have to have it. So super healthy function of your body that you have to have. However, needless to say, uh, all the sweat came back, thank God, uh, after I got on the vitamin B12 injections. So those injections like really cleared up everything. And that was one of the first symptoms to leave because it was one of my last symptoms to come on. So I'm very grateful for that. Please subscribe, please be a part of this community. Please communicate to the rest of us the things you're going through and how you've healed, how you've gotten better. Or if you're struggling with something vitamin B12 deficiency related, please reach out and we would all love to help. God bless.